Fox News alert right now. The IDF confirms Hezbollah launched 30 rockets from Lebanon in northern Israel this morning. Fox News chief foreign correspondent Trey Nates joins us from Israel now. Trey, how much damage? Yeah, hey, Brian, good morning. Not so much damage, but a significant attack. And it comes as regional sources are concerned that a larger attack from Iran could come in as little as 24 hours. We continue to follow developments out of the region. And despite many guesses of when this Iranian action might take place, officials do appear more confident we are reaching our zero. Overnight, Israel's defense minister, Yoav Gallant, spoke with his counterpart, U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin, for the seventh time in recent days. The pair discussed Israel's preparedness and readiness amid the rising threats across the Middle East. Iran is currently conducting training exercises and it issued a notice to airmen, all indications they could be moving forward this week. Overnight, Iran's largest proxy, Hezbollah, did fire 30 of those Katusha rockets into northern Israel. We could hear the explosions from here as some of the fire was intercepted by Israel's missile defense system, the Iron Dome. That fire may have been in response to an Israeli strike on Sunday in the Lebanese port city of Sidon that reportedly killed two Hezbollah operatives. Daily exchanges of fire do continue along the border. Now, on Thursday, there is said to be a major meeting in the region, including the Egyptians, the Qataris, and the Americans, trying to hammer out the details of a ceasefire agreement to end the war in Gaza. Analysts hope this could give the entire region an off-ramp to rising tension. Brian? All right. Uh, thanks so much, Trey. We'll check in with you a little bit later on. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.